Hey loves, today I'm going to be doing a haul video for the items that I picked up for the month of May. I have been doing a bunch of shopping and I'm still waiting on items to come in the mail as we speak. So yeah, you probably will be seeing another haul video up um, sometime next week. It will be definitely a MAC video coming up and I think that's it. But really neighbors. <laughs> But um, also I want to speak on the lighting of this video. I don't know if you will be able to tell the difference, but I am not using my ring light. I'm using my vanity lights and just the regular lights that came in this room. So hopefully you can't tell the difference. If you can and you don't like this light, just comment below and I will go back to using my ring light. But before I jump in, I'm just going to go ahead and mention the stores that will be included in this video. So it will include Victoria's Secret, um, Urban OG. JC Penney's, uh, Kids Foot Locker, and I do believe that is it. I hope I do not have lipstick on my teeth because that's been a problem all day today. <laughs> oh, and speaking of what's on my lips, I have on my Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the color Melted Violet. It's a really old color. It's the color that came out like their first time when they dropped these. So yeah, this is an old color, but it's really pretty and it reminds me of MAC Heroin. So, no more rambling. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start with what I picked up from Victoria's Secret. And what I picked up was a bunch, a bunch of um, sports bras. I picked up a black one. And I do believe this is inside out. Yeah. I picked up a black and white one. And it just looks like this. So it's just an original black sports bra and it has pink at the bottom on the waistband. Well, on the, would that be called a waistband? Yeah, on the waistband it just says pink with white writing. And these sports bras aren't expensive. They are $19.95. Well, for them to be Victoria's Secret, I don't feel like these are expensive. But yeah, these are only $19.95. So I picked up a black one. I picked up this really pretty turquoise aqua type kind and then the waistband is black with the white writing and this one was $22.95 so the ones that are like the tie-dye print are a little bit more expensive I picked up a solid gray one it looks like this I actually have one that's darker than this but I wanted this shade and this one was $19.95 and then I picked up another one of the tie-dye ones and this one was $22.95. And all of my bras are a size large. And also, I got a free pair of the pink slide-on slippers. They look like the Jordan slide-ons or the Adidas ones or the Nike slide-ons. I don't know. You know the ones that those guys are always wearing. But yeah, they have one that say pink. So I thought that was really cute for the girls. And they were free with a purchase of $50, I think. So... I was really happy to get those. Then, um, on a second trip to Victoria's Secret, they were having $5, um, the fantasy, the Victoria's Secret fantasy line, the little sprays and body washes and all that. And I really, really, really like their shower gels. I like to, you know, take a bath and then before I get out of the shower, I just use my hands and I rub it all over my body. And when I get out, I just smell so yummy. So I picked up a few of the shower gels i picked up love spell this is one of my favorites it's been my favorite since like high school i picked up passion struck and this is a newer one i really haven't um tried this one but it smells so yummy and i can't wait to take a shower tonight because i think i'm going to use this one i picked up pure seduction this is another one of my favorites i've used this since high school and i love 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 this scent then I picked up Aqua Kiss. This one smells really good also. This is another scent that I've never tried before, but I know that it smells yummy. Like, yes, it smells like water and a girl. <laughs> if that makes sense, that's what it smells like. And then the last one that I picked up was Mango Temptation. And I've never tried this one before, but I know that it smells yummy. Oh, yes. I cannot wait, like... This stuff makes me so excited to like take a bath. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but it makes me so excited to take a bath. So yeah, I picked these up. They were all $5. Um, 
and I know the lady at my Victoria's Secret told me that we, oh, the lady at my Victoria's Secret told me that they will be having another huge sale I think in June it will be their um semi-annual sale I think it's June or July I'm not sure but she said it will be really really soon and they will have really really good deals like five dollar um shower gels and stuff like that all over again and they would have like really good prices on their pink um accessories and what am i talking about accessories their pink apparel and their victoria's secret apparel and all that stuff so definitely, so definitely start saving your coins for the victoria's secret semi-annual sale that's coming up. so the next store that i'm going to jump into is urban og i ordered a pair of heels and i've been watching these heels for so long i was like one minute I wanted them, the next minute I didn't want them, and then one minute I wanted them, and it was just like, no, you don't need any more black heels, you have enough. And it was like, but you don't have any that look like these. And yeah, I just had like a huge debate within myself about these shoes. And I just said, forget it, and I bought them. So I ordered these from Urban OG, and they are the cutest freaking shoes ever. Like, I really, really like these little edgy, like, platform shoes. And I wore these, I think, twice already. But yeah, these were on sale for, I believe, $27. But after tax and stuff, I ended up paying like $33. Not bad for these. Like, I really, really like these. And the shipping was okay. I wish it would be a little bit quicker. I think it was like maybe five business days. I'm not sure, like a week maybe. So yeah, but other than that, I really, really like these. They're really, really comfortable. And they have a pair of brown ones that I think I'm going to go back and order as well if they have my size. But yeah, like the quality and stuff, there, it's, it's really good quality shoes. And the brand is Wild Diva Lounge. So I'm pretty sure you can find these like anywhere. Um, so yeah, $33 including the shipping fee and tax so pretty good deal and the next store that i'm going to talk about is kids foot locker you guys know i've been like on this little sneaker rent thing where i've been wanting sneakers so bad so i have been getting the most um i've been purchasing most of the jordans that have been releasing lately i think i missed like the last three pairs that came out but I really didn't want them so like if i see some that i actually want i actually have been like purchasing them and for these i actually went and waited in line so it had to be serious <laughs> so yeah i got the bread 11 they look like this i got a seven and kids yeah a seven and kids and these are the breads the retro 11s and i just love them i always wanted some black and white jordans and i never could get my hand on them so i really had like i really had like a change of heart because i was not going to get these i seen them on the release like the little release website i think it's called 23 is back i don't know what this is in my hair but it's really annoying me um but i seen this on the 23 is back website like last month sometime and I went down and I wrote all the Jordans that I wanted and I wrote down the dates and stuff and I didn't want these at first and then like I started seeing them on Instagram and stuff and I was like okay I think I can see myself rocking these and then I went back and I was like no I don't want these and I just had a debate within as usual and I finally decided to get them so I woke up one morning I was actually in Jackson and I woke up and I was like okay yeah I'm gonna go get these so I called the store and I was like do you guys like do first come first serve or is it ticket based like how does it work and she was like first come first serve so I got there at like exactly nine o'clock the line wasn't that long it was like maybe 15 people ahead of me so I probably could have been in line way quicker if I would have went straight to kids foot locker but I wanted to go to um finish line because I usually get my Jordans from finish line but they did like the ticket thing so anyways I'm rambling but I got my babies and I'm very 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 satisfied they fit perfect they're comfortable I love them yeah <laughs> I think these were um I believe they're 119 on the website but after tax and stuff I ended up paying like 126 and usually when I buy them from where I live they're like way higher than that for some reason I think it's because of the tax but I was so happy to get these for like 126 I was like what 126 okay let's go go ahead but yeah, I love these to death, so definitely, definitely will be seeing me rocking these. I really hope my lighting is not screwed up because I'm going to be so annoyed and I do not feel like redoing this video. <laughs> 
But the next store will be JCPenney's. I had like a $50 coupon, you guys, for JCPenney's. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to let this slide. So I went and picked up some clothes. And they are mostly workout clothes because you guys know I do kickboxing. So I needed some more workout clothes. So I picked up, this is just a plain white v-neck. I got an extra large because I wanted it to be really loose. Not not really loose, but loose fitting. I didn't want it to be super tight. Like I wanted it to be that loose type of t-shirt, like a boyfriend tee. So yeah. And this was only $4, I believe. But it was the regular price is $14, but I did not pay $14 for this. Because I picked up, I think, three of these. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Like I pick up, like if I find a shirt that I like, I will pick up plenty of them. So I picked up three of these. And I also I picked up three of the black ones just like this i think they're in a dirty clothes but i picked up some um capri pants in a size large well yoga pants whatever you want to call them and they just have this funky looking bright colored waistband and then they go down like this and they were 22 dollars, but i believe they were on sale also then i picked up another pair with a little funky colored waistband they're black and then they look like this and all of these are a size large if anybody was wondering and i picked up another one they look like this and i picked up another pair these are really comfortable you guys so definitely give these a try when you go to your local jc pennies because the, the brand is called City Street and they're usually always on sale so I think I only pay like $12 for these pants plus my discount that I had my little coupon thing so yeah I got this stuff dirt cheap like this is $300 for merchandise and I think I only paid a little bit over $100 so these are the other workout pants that I got and they look like this they have this uh no, they don't. They have a little drawstring in the front. I thought they had a zipper, but they don't. And they have a zipper on the back. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose for this zipper is. Maybe it's like to put money or something back there. I don't know. But it is the fitted leggings. So these are the ones that go all the way down. And then I picked up a sports bra. And I got a size large. And then this is one of the black V-necks, I think. Yeah, this is one of the black V-necks that I picked up. Just a simple, plain old black V-neck. I picked up a black sports bra. And I picked up a black and white hosta top. It's a halter top crop top actually. Looks like this. And I was actually going in there for regular summer clothes. Because I don't really have a lot of summer clothes. Like I had a big closet sale and I sold like most of my clothes. Because they are too big for me. And yeah. So I don't really have a lot of clothes anymore. And I wanted to go pick up you know another wardrobe. Or just find something that I could put in my closet. But I didn't really find anything but this and those little v-necks. So I just decided to get some workout clothes because 9 times out of 10, if you see me in the streets, that's what I have on, work on workout clothes or something that I wore to work. And what I wear to work <laughs> is nothing fashionable. Like I usually go to work with like a dress on or something very, very simple because I have to be at work at like really, really early, like 6 in the morning type early. And I'm just like, I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to jump into what I got from... Marshalls I think I think this is Marshalls I don't have a bag that tells me where it came from oh yeah Marshalls so I picked up a pair of just white shorts they look like this and they are size 14 and they were on no they weren't on sale but they were only $13.99 I tried them on they fit really really good so I had to have those and then I picked up the David the Dave Davidoff, however you say his name, I'm not sure. The Cool Water for Women. It was only $16.99. Um, I really, really like the way the cologne for men smells. So I 
really was expecting this to smell awesome and it does smell pretty good but i just felt like it was gonna smell so freaking amazing but like i said it smells good i wear this every day to work so it's a really really original scent and if you like really light scents then you would like this one so i picked that up for a summertime fragrance And then I was in TJ Maxx and I picked up this little t-shirt right here. And it has Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. I freaking love Saved by the Bell. Like I remember when I was in grade school, that would come on every freaking morning. I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. But it would come on every freaking morning and I remember watching it every single morning. Like I probably have seen every episode. I probably know like every episode from word to word. Like it's that serious. Like... The obsession is so serious so when i saw this shirt i was like oh my gosh mom is kelly kapowski and she was like who and i was like kelly kapowski so this shirt was only 7.99 it was in the men's department we were looking for my dad an outfit actually for um father's day or something we were shopping for him for something i forgot what it is but we went to marshall's and i got a size large yeah a size large in the shirt and i'm thinking about like either cutting it up into like a really cute loose fitted like muscle tank or just doing the sleeves really cute like i don't know i just really really wanted this shirt with kelly kapowski because i love saved by the bell and then i picked up some items from rue 21 like i said i've been picking up items since the beginning of may so some of these items have been worn and you probably will not see them in this haul if i've took pictures in the items i will post them somewhere in the clip but I don't even think I took pictures in some of these items, but yeah. The next store is Rue 21, and I picked up this shirt out of the men's apartment. If you guys are new to my channel, then you are going to learn that I do fiddle along the men's apartment, and I find stuff that I really like, because I don't know, but I feel like the men's clothing are coming, like, way cuter than our clothing, so, like, I really like the men's clothing. <laughs> So I picked up this shirt right here to go with my Jordans and not the Jordans that I just showed you guys either. It was the Jordans from my last haul video. But I thought this was the cutest shirt ever and I got it from Rue 21 and it just has California Republic on the front and then on the back it has the stars towards the bottom. So I thought these shoes, I mean <laughs> shoes, I thought this shirt was like so adorbs and I thought it would be so cute with my J's. And maybe like some leggings or some cute little cut up denim shorts. Like I don't know. I just saw this shirt and I was like yes I need that down like right now. And it was um I think it was $22. The tag isn't on here anymore. Oh yes it is. It was $14.99 actually. Surprising. And then I picked up these socks. And they were in the men's apartment too. They actually have like a little Hawaiian lady on them. I guess I'll turn it back this way so you can see. But it has like a Hawaiian lady on them. And they were $7.99. I picked these up because I have the Jordans, the um, the Marvin the Martian Jordans. And I felt like these socks matched. I still haven't even compared them yet, but I felt like these matched. And I thought it would be cute to like put these on with those Jordans and like just kind of do like a tomboyish type of look. So, yes, I picked those up. And I also picked up a, um, a all gold rosary. And I think it was like $6.99. No, according to this tag, it was $12.99. And I think that's everything that I picked up from Rue 21 that day. And then I went to Ross, which is one of my favorite stores. I picked up a sundress. I think I picked up two sundresses, actually. A long black and white maxi dress. I... Just wore that recently, so it's in the dirty clothes. And I also picked up another dress. It was like a short, um, sleeveless, floral print dress. Yes. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought when I was trying to describe that dress. But yes, it was sleeveless, really short, like mini type of dress. And it had like the, um, I forgot what you would call it, like the over ruffle type of thing. But yeah, it had like the little oval I don't know like if I can remember I promise I will put it in this video because I know the description sounds crazy but yeah I know that just like $7.99 I was so surprised that it was so cheap and it was so cute in the quality and the quality was not as cheap as I would think it would be but 
I picked up a little sleeping t-shirt. And it says, cheers, sin sin, salud, and sante. I think I'm saying that right. But it's just a long little sleeping gown. I like sleeping gowns like this. They're super cozy. And this was only 10 bucks, so. I picked that up from Ross. Then I went back to JCPenney's and I picked up some more stuff. I picked up this really cute romper and it's like the crochet in the front. Well, on the top, the little crochet at the top and then towards the bottom it goes into this really pinkish coral type of short color. I just thought that this romper was so adorable and when I tried it on it was like so freaking cute and I just fell in love. So I had to have it and I think I got a size I got a size extra large. Fits perfect, so yes, I had to have her. Oh, and the price, the original price is $46, but of course I did not pay $46 for this romper. I think I paid like $20 maybe with my coupons, so yeah. And then the last items that I got from JCPenney's are two shirts and a dress. I picked up a shirt that says more issues than Vogue and it's in a size extra large. And it was $18, but I do not believe I paid $18 for it. And I got it a little bit oversized because I wanted it to be like one of those boyfriend tees. Like the loose fit and just a comfortable type of shirt. And then the next shirt that I got, it says can't deal. Because if you guys know me, you know that I'm always saying I can't, I can't. Like I can't deal. So I always say that and my mom saw it and she was like, there's your shirt right there. Because you're always saying you can't deal. So I got this shirt in a size large and it just says can't deal and I thought it would be super cute with just some um, jeans or something, just something really simple to throw on and be comfortable because I'm all about being comfortable. And then this dress that I picked up was just a spaghetti scrap dress and this is the little ruffle thing that I was trying to explain about the other dress but I could not think of it. But yeah, the other dress has this same little design thing right here going on and it's just a plain old sundress and it was um let's see $34 I got an extra large and of course I did not pay $34 for this dress so yeah but that is everything that I got from JCPenney's that is everything that I got this month besides the MAC makeup that I will be hauling next week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope the lighting was okay. Like I said, if you do not like this lighting, or if you can tell the difference, or whatever you want to tell me, just comment below because I need to know, okay? I need to know. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to share these videos because Sharon is Karen, and I will see you guys in the next video.